Hi, happy Saturday evening. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, if you're working, I hope you're making the best of it. And if you're home with your family or home by yourself, I hope you are still making the best of it. Uh, so last weekend, I shared um, 10 things that may be stopping you from your weight loss goals. And the I've had so many questions and private messages since I posted that video. The support and feedback has been like spectacular. I can't thank you guys enough for listening to me and taking away some value and then reaching out to me about it. I really appreciate that. And it helps me um, find things to help you when you reach out to me like that. So I really wanted to thank you for digging in with me this past um, week since I posted that video. And um, the one thing that came up several times in the messages was accountability. And exactly what is the accountability? I've shared my personal story the last year, um, losing 85 pounds, and I've attributed a lot of my success to accountability in the private groups that I run and as being a coach. And so accountability, some people may just think, oh, that means someone's telling you what to do. But that's not the case. So I wanted to share with you and kind of give you a little um description of what accountability actually is and why hopefully that will help you understand why it's such a key player and I'm in the mortgage world in my day job I'm a DJ a desk jockey there spinning and helping people get into homes um, doing all the processing paperwork and so I thought what better analogy than that of a landlord versus a tenant and so I'm going to step away from health and fitness just for a moment to help you understand where accountability fits in and what the difference between accountability and responsibility is. So we're going to take the look at a house and we're going to look at it first as though you are the tenant living in the house. Now as a tenant you're getting ready to move out of a place that you've rented and you're moving out your furniture and you find oh no there's a hole in the wall. Now it is your responsibility to fix that hole in the wall. You've lived there, you went on a walkthrough before you moved in, most likely you are the one or someone in your house created that hole, correct? Um, not necessarily, but um, most likely uh, you created that hole in the wall. So it's your responsibility to fix the hole. However, you're a tenant, perhaps you just take a picture, hang it up and pretend you're leaving it behind, cover that hole and you vacate the property. That is an example of responsibility. It was your responsibility to fix the hole in the wall, but you didn't. There's no consequences, there's nothing, like that's it. That is the tenant view of responsibility, tenant responsibility. Now let's go to the landlord, the owner of that home. The landlord shows up, finds a hole in the wall. Now the landlord did not put that hole in the wall. However, they're accountable to how that house looks for their next tenant. They must take ownership and responsibility of that hole in the wall. They must find that problem and then solve it. And that is what accountability is. So accountability is being the landlord of the hole in the wall. There's a hole in the wall, you know you have to fix it, so you fix it. You see a problem, you own it, and you solve it. You take an action. That is accountability. You're owning your hole in the wall. As a tenant, you don't own the house. You don't really care what happens necessarily. I mean, maybe you're, you're a good person and you really do care, but as a tenant, it's not, you're not having anything holding you accountable to fix that in the wall, basically. So hopefully that helps you understand the difference between responsibility and accountability. As a tenant, really, you should be responsible for the hole in the wall. You didn't do it, you moved out, oh well. The landlord, the owner of the home, they are being held accountable because they have to own that hole and they have to fix it and repair it for the next person. So, okay, Jen, I get that for a hole in the wall. I get that probably if I'm a landlord or a owner that's gonna rent out their house, I'll put in my clause that they better repair their holes. Like I get that, Jen, but what does that have to do with fitness and what you've been doing with your groups? So the reason accountability has been so key for me the last year is when you're 
offering yourself up to hold yourself accountable, you're seeing a problem, you're owning it, and you're taking action. You're going to solve that problem. Last, a year and two months ago, I saw I had a problem. I was sitting right here in this floor, not 10 inches away, and I was miserable. I was 297 pounds and I was basically crying on the floor that I felt miserable. That was me seeing my problem. Now what I did next was I owned it. After I went to the doctor and found out that nothing was wrong with me, it wasn't anything that uh, was medically needing to be addressed, I was thankful, but that basically meant what I was eating and what I was not eating or what I was not doing physically was why I was the way I was. And now I had to own it and I had to change it. And change is one of the hardest things to do. When you're out there on your own and you're trying to change a lifestyle, especially with all the temptation, with all the easy quick fixes, and with all the confusion of marketing. I mean, I tell you weekly, I go in the grocery store and I get angry at all the health food stuff that's out there for sale. It is frustratingly crazy. So knowing it's hard, when you speak your goal to somebody else, you're more likely to get it done. Holding yourself accountable to a group of like-minded people who are also going through the same struggle as you will help you get to that goal faster. And that's what I did. I joined a group of women that were looking to achieve the same thing as I was, and we all started speaking our goals and we started showing up in our group. Now, it doesn't mean that we uh, gave our authority to somebody else and we had someone whipping us and messaging us daily, hey, eat healthy, hey, eat healthy, hey, eat healthy, hey, work out, hey, work out. No, 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 it's not police monitoring, it's not, it's not getting a boss over me, it's me becoming the boss over me. It's me becoming the parent over me and telling myself, okay, I know this problem, my hole in the wall is my, my weight and my health and my fitness. That's my hole in the wall. I need to fix it. So I'm gonna hold myself accountable to this group. I'm going to show up. They have tools, they have tips, they have the encouraging environment, they have other people who are busy just like me, who are single moms, who are stay-at-home moms, who are um, men trying to rejoin the fitness group. They're all just like me going through some sort of different struggle and I'm gonna plug into that. And when you plug into that and you speak your goals, it helps you start to own that problem and become the landlord over your life and your health and your fitness. And so I just, I hope <laughs> that you are ready to take accountability for your life or that you already are taking accountability and you're ready to be that landlord over you and that you've identified what hole in the wall you want to fix. And hopefully if you've identified that, you know the next step is to solve it. And by solving it, you need to take action. So if you are looking to change your health and fitness goals, I have the community for you to plug yourself into, to hold yourself accountable, to become that landlord and fix that hole in the wall. So hopefully that helped answer the questions I had about the difference between responsibility and accountability. And I hope, oh my gosh, it would be huge for me if you decided to become a landlord because of me, that you be decided to become a landlord of your health and fitness because of me. That would be huge. And I would love to hear your questions and your stories. So comment or message me and feel free to share. Um, let me know what else uh, you'd like me to clarify from last weekend, um, from the 10 reasons you may not be losing weight, and I'll definitely dig in and clarify for you. So have a wonderful Saturday evening, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.